Hello everyone, our Jerome Harris here again from One Click DVD Media Tech. Uh, here's a application here that I really, really like. It's uh, by Kukulsoft and it is the iPod Video Converter Suite. Uh, this uh, small but sweet application does a lot of things. Uh, as you can see here, it uh, converts uh, DVD to iPod format. It will convert a DVD to MP3. In other words, uh, it just takes the soundtrack off that DVD and uh, it copies it uh, or converts it to MP3. It will convert a DVD into the H.264 uh, format and it will convert a DVD to iPod TV. Now, if you come over to the right here and click on this link right here, there are other things it can do. Now, if you may have some existing movie files on your PC, well, um, Google Soft's iPod Video Converter Suite can do something with those as well. It can uh, convert an AVI, DivX, or Excavate file to an iPod format. It can convert a Windows Media Video, that's the uh, uh, WMV files, uh, ASF, to iPod. It can convert the real media player type files to iPod. Uh, convert a movie file or a .move file to iPod. And it can convert an MPEG to an iPod. And it can convert almost all videos files to iPod. So this application does a lot of things. Okay, so what I'm going to do right here, uh, since I have my iPod uh, Classic sitting down here, I'm going to do a um, convert a DVD to uh, a format, uh, iPod format, that I can upload to my iPod. So the first thing that you will want to do is uh, insert your original DVD movie into your PC and give uh, your DVD writer uh, a few moments to read the DVD. Then go ahead and click on the uh, uh, link here, or the button here. Okay. KukulSoft DVD to iPod Converter will uh, give you this uh, graphical user interface, which gives you five different steps to uh, perform, or to accomplish rather, uh, that will lead you to a successful uh, conversion here. And re recall, in my case, I'm converting a DVD movie into an iPod uh, format. So here it says, uh, choose a profile. So what you do is come over to the right-hand side here, where it says Profile. And you can pull down and select what you want to do. And in my case, I want to convert uh, a DVD to uh, an iPod MPEG-4 movie. Or I can convert to an iPod uh, H.264 movie, uh, iPod Touch, if I had an iPod Touch, an iPod TV, iPod Video Nano, iPod Video Nano uh, MPEG-4, uh, or just uh, the audio. I can take the audio off of a DVD and... Uh, KukulSoft DVD to iPod Converter Suite will uh, strip the audio off that DVD. So I'm going to select the iPod uh, MPEG movie conversion. Second step is to uh, uh, put the DVD into your DVD ROM and click the uh, DVD to open button here. So first, the second step is to insert the uh, DVD that you're going to be converting. Give your DVD ROM uh, a few moments to read the DVD. Then click open DVD. And there's a DVD right there. I'll select it, Chronicles of Riddick, and click OK. And as you can see here, uh, KukulSoft will uh, scan that DVD. And what it's doing is it's telling you here that the software is analyzing your DVD and uh, fast forwarding to the, D the DVD. Okay, so right now the DVD uh, appears to be okay. And uh, your second step is to go ahead and hit the, um, third step rather, is to go ahead and click the convert button. And uh, what you have here are several things. Title name, which you can change uh, to anything you want. And I'm going to just make it simple. Chronicles of Riddick. You want to uh, take note as to where your converted file is going to uh, be placed once the conversion is complete. And I know that uh, my file is going to, to reside on my desktop. The uh, output file size, this is important. I typically leave this at the default rate. If you select a higher bit rate, then your um, movie file is going to be larger, but your video quality is going to be better. Now, if you have one of those iPod Classics that have the uh, 120 gig hard drives in it, you know you might want to move this uh, wiper bar up a notch 
and you have a, a great video. Now, uh, I find actually with it sitting right there in the middle, it produces great videos and you get the best of two worlds. You get a smaller file size and a reasonably good quality video. Now down here you have two radio buttons. One says convert, uh, it's asking you a question, do you want a uh, KugelSoft DVD to iPod convert to convert from the very beginning or do you want to, to convert from the current time? In other words, notice that when we click that open DVD button and we click the convert button, the movie starts to play in the background, so I stopped it. And you can actually, what this is asking me right here is, do you want this application to pick up right here or from the very beginning? I'm going to go and have it uh, start from the very, very beginning. And it asks another question, would you like to record the current video? Yeah. <clears throat> yes. And so right now, uh, the application is now going through the process of converting the video and you're looking at the um, uh, progress uh, indicator here. And if you want to abort, then you can abort the um, video. So I'll uh, let um, KugelSoft DVD iPod converter do its thing and I'll uh, come back to you in a few moments here and we'll have some concluding comments about this application. Okay, uh, KugelSoft DVD to iPod converter has uh, completed the conversion and is telling us here that the uh, conversion time was 42 minutes and 19 seconds. Uh, and right here it's giving us two options here with these radio buttons. One is to open the output folder to check the output file and the other is to open the uh, iTunes and output folder to upload the output file. What I'm going to do here, uh, since my iPod is not connected, I'm going to check the output folder to look at that file. And uh, there it is, Chronicles of Riddick. And now I have a file that I can upload to my iPod. This is R. Jerome Harris, uh, and we have been talking about the KugelSoft DVD to iPod Converter Suite. And I thank you for viewing this presentation.